I'm Cadence. And I'm Miss K. And, and holy cow! <laughs> We're going, going to a dairy farm. farm! Adventures with Cadence and Miss K. So much to learn along the way. Come on and explore. With Food Core. Hi there, my name is Jordan Hansen and I am here at Hansen's Dairy Farm. and their mom and dad were the ones that kind of took the farm to the next level. We've been milking dairy cows here for um, about 50 years and until we decided to start processing the products ourselves. And so now we make milk, cheese curds, butter, heavy cream, ice cream, and beef here at our farm. So it's calf feeding time here. Calves are getting fed each morning and each night, and they are drinking a half gallon of milk. They get that in the morning and at night, so they get a full gallon of milk a day. Now these calves are in the huts here, starting at birth, and then for about the next seven weeks or so. And during that time, they are drinking milk, they are getting grain, they're drinking water, and basically at this time, they're just building up their immune system. So that's what helps them stay healthy their whole life. And so they're separated from their friends here. They're in their own individual hut. And during this time, it just strengthens their immune system. And once they're done in the huts here, they'll be done drinking milk. And they're gonna move on and it's kinda gonna be like school. They're gonna go across the road here and they're gonna start to live with their friends and they're gonna start to learn new things, and they'll just kinda keep growing up together throughout their life at the farm. So all the cows that are around the same age will live together. These girls here are about uh, two months old on average, between two and four months or so. And when they're in here, this is kinda like what I was talking about with school. So they are learning to come into these stalls here and lie down. These are called free stalls, and what that means is they can come and lie down whenever they want. So whenever they're feeling tired or want a little rest, they can lie down here. Um, they are also learning how to eat out of the bunks. And so they are putting their heads through the slats to eat. And then this is similar to how they'll grow up and, and eat as adults. And so it's all just kind of a learning process here. That's why we call it school. what we call their big salad. So it has hay and corn, it's all chopped up in there, and this is the primary part of their diet every day. And we grow this on our farm here. So we have about 400 acres of land that we grow all of the feed for the cows on. This here is our feed wagon. We kind of call it our big salad bowl. So all of the hay silage and corn silage and distiller's grain and canola meal that our cows eat is all mixed together in this wagon falls down into the chute and it's carried to the anxiously waiting cows. They're ready to eat. Uh, cows do not eat lunch, breakfast, and dinner. They actually just eat kind of constantly all day long, so there should always be food in front of them. So they can come up and eat pretty much whenever they'd like to. One of 
one of the things I love about cows is that they are able to eat a lot of feed that people cannot eat. And so what they are eating for corn, not the same kind of corn that you and I eat, uh, their corn is field corn. And so, um, and also with the alfalfa hay that they eat, that is not something that our bodies can digest and use for energy. And so what cows are doing is they actually have four compartments to their stomach which means they're able to digest a lot of different food. And a lot of food that might otherwise go to waste, um, things that are actually made, they're waste products of human food processing, can be fed to cows. And then the cows can digest it and then they turn it around into very high quality nutritious food, which is milk and other dairy products. So cows are great recyclers in nature. They can eat a lot of food that people can't and they turn it into food that they can. about five minutes or so um, and just the agitation of the shaking will turn it into a nice chunk of butter and then it'll separate into some watery buttermilk and so that's real buttermilk um, the butter then is going to what's going to happen during the process here is it's going to get real thick and it's going to stick to the sides of the jar and then all of a sudden it will just separate out and you'll hear it slapping around in the jar so we'll follow up with how it's progressing. So our butter is just about done. And you can hear it slapping around in there now. It's a nice chunk of butter in there. We'll go ahead and open it up and see what we got. So there's the big thick chunk of butter in there. And then that's the buttermilk that's separated off of it. So we're gonna go ahead and drain out that buttermilk first. and just swirl it around in the water. Now this is just um, cooling it off and rinsing it off. 
it got a little bit, you know, warm in my hand, and so this kind of brings the temperature back down a little bit, stiffens it up a little bit. Here's our nice chunk of butter. So most people like their butter salted, so we're just going to mix in a little bit of salt there. And when you mix that salt in, a little bit more of that buttermilk is going to seep out. Salt kind of brings that liquid out. So we're just going to drain that again. And now it is ready to eat on these crackers. Very good.